2007 Volkswagen Beetle Bug. Customer stage, check engine lights on, and uh, vehicle stalls and runs rough sometimes. And I just locked the door. Let's try that again. There we go. Floor protector, you get in there. Starting the engine. Uh, most importantly, starting the air conditioner. It's hot in here. Like a lot. Can't breathe hot. Okay, check engine light is in fact on. 70,338 miles on the odometer. It's so hot I can't breathe. Wow, let me out. Woo, air. Okay, data link connector, where are you? Uh, there it is, that was easy. Plug that in right now. There we go. Okay, I've gotta break a rule. I need to move the seat, because I can't fit. There we go, good, okay, all right. Okay, it does feel like it's running a little bit rough right now. So we are duplicating some of their concern. Maximum climate control on. And that's a waste because the AC blows warm, okay. Yeah. Proceeding scan tool 2007, is that what I said? Sure. Scanning, scanning, loading database. According to my scanning device, this vehicle is equipped with a 2.5 liter multi-port injected four-cylinder. Yep, 07 Beetle Cabrio 25. All righty, we've got a pair of codes here. Fuel trim lean, bank one, P0171, reached its limits. And uh, next one, mass airflow sensor, G70, that's the name of the, of the component has an implausible signal, P0101. No signal slash no communication. So something's going on with the mass airflow sensor. Uh, mass airflow is probably not sending a correct measurement to the ECM and the ECM cannot determine the uh, the fuel trims and so it went uh, way too lean on one, on, well, only one bank, but it went way too lean uh, probably due to improper metering uh, that can be caused by restricted air filter damaged mass airflow faulty mass airflow disconnected mass airflow or a vacuum leak so uh let's check for uh, all those things and since it's running rough right now i'm not going to go test drive this we're just going to go into the shop real quick like uh, do an underhood visual inspection of the air intake system and uh, see if anything is staring at us in the face first and then uh, we'll escalate our diagnostic efforts based on our visual inspection. Sounds like a plan? I think it does. All right, good right here. Parking, popping the hood. Where's that, where's that lever? There it is, pop. Watch this, these Volkswagens have dangly bits that poke out. Aha. There it is, 2.5 liter, multi-port injected. Oh, look what I've done, I've assumed and made an ass of myself. This is not a four cylinder, this is a five cylinder. Look, one runner, two, three, four, five. One coil, two, three, four, five. This is a five cylinder. You see, right when you figure out that you might know what's going on, a five cylinder Volkswagen shows up. Hmm. Hey look, someone's been here. See the little, uh, little marks, witness marks on the connector here for this mass airflow? This looks newish. I see a different patina between the mass airflow and the rest of this uh, housing right here. Someone's been here before. Okay, that's clamped on. Wires look good. Uh, what else is here? I don't see anything staring at us. Check these hoses. Hey. Uh-oh, I found something. Found something quickly. Let's see, let's move you over there. This guy was not connected all the way. This one right here. Now that could definitely cause our issue because if air is coming in through that little hole right there, that means that air is entering the intake stream and is not being metered by the mass airflow sensor. So that could definitely cause an erroneous reading and the ECM may not know what to do with a, with a, a leak of this nature. That was yeah, plugged in about like that, kind of dangling down a little bit. Let's see if we can't reconnect it. It 
minutes in. Oh, that's a negative. Look at here. The little tabs are broken off. See this one, that one clicked on. You heard that audible click? But the small one on the bottom does not. Let's go ahead and pull this tube out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna want more proof than just that. So, let's put this back the way I found it. That hose, just the way I found it, like so. And let's go look at some scan tool data first. Restarting. Let's see what the mass airflow and fuel trim data is telling us. Data menu, hit list. All right, so here we go. Here's our mass airflow readings, grams per second. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this up to about 2,000 RPMs, pretend we're uh, having highway speed. We're gonna run it up to 2,000 RPMs, right there. We're gonna take note of the mass airflow, grams per second. It's flowing about eight grams per second through the actual mass airflow sensor. Now that is with that little hose not being connected properly. So what we're gonna do, remember eight grams per second. We're gonna go back under there, we're gonna plug that hose in, and then we're gonna bring this engine back up to 2000, and we're gonna see if this number right here changes, and we're gonna witness how drastically it does change. Stand by. Let's uh, go ahead and put that over there. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do this in one cut. That way you know that there's no tomfoolery going on around here. So let's reach back down in there, we'll plug this guy in all the way instead of slightly. Now I won't stay here permanently because this engine moves around and shakes and whatnot, but for demonstration purposes, this should be sufficient. So we're plugged in, we're plugged in, we're all connected. Can we agree on that? Yes, very good. Now let's head back over to the scanning device and we will repeat what we have just done. 2,000 RPMs coming up. There it is. Look at that. Nine, nine point one. At 2,000. All right. So it is now pulling more air through the mass airflow sensor at the same engine speed and same load level. I'd say that's proof enough for me. Let's uh, let's see what we can do about reconnecting this hose. Okay, so here's the deal. I do not want to like glue that hose back on because in a future event where service is needed, which being a Volkswagen, that can be any second now. In any future event, if I glue that on, it's gonna really, really hurt the next guy. Plus, that's not a very reliable repair. So, uh, I think we're just gonna have to order a uh, new replacement uh, intake tube. So, let's go ahead and pull this tube out. That way it creates some urgency with the sales guys. We're probably going to have to get this from Volkswagen and no one else. I, I can't imagine there's a huge aftermarket supply for uh, old Volkswagen components, but you never know. Oh yeah, looky here. We can see where the tabs are broken off. It's not good. Same thing on that side. Okay, I'm gonna go try to find one of these. Be right back. Wow, 2022, anything can happen. Volkswagen had the part in stock and they delivered it to us in like a half an hour. This is weird. I expected this to be a put it back together until the part shows up in two or three weeks kind of job. Let's see what I get for assuming. Let's see here. Open. Box surgery. Hey, look at that. That's pretty. Ah, oh, that's 
it's not shiny that I like it now look you can see the little tab is uh, not broken off unclamping reclamping unclamping reclamping there we go all right back to the car okay intake tube don't fight me on this we're just gonna go back together just like we're supposed to and it's fighting ah, it's a toy squeeze Clamp is in. Now for our hose in question. Weird angles, can't reach. Oh, come on, hose. Come on and click. It doesn't want to go on, that's good. That means it's got to overcome that little ramp. Ah, there we go. I felt our clickage. Beautiful. Same thing here. Detent clickage. All right. Back to the scanning tool. Let's review our data one more time. Restarting DOS Auto. No communication. Yep, we know. Try again. All right. Mass airflow at idle. 2.9 grams per second. And let's go ahead and bring this up to 3,000 RPMs. Sorry, 2,000 RPMs. Don't know what I was talking about. 2,000 right there, holding. Eight point six, eight point seven, eight point eight. We're still hanging out at 2,000. Excellent. We've got a noticeable difference in uh, airflow measured quantity. Let's go ahead and clear this code and we'll go out for a test drive real quick just to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Loud noises. Also, uh, subjectively, uh, you guys can't see it and you can't feel it, but I can feel it. This thing does appear to be running smooth. Okie dokes, closing the hood. Hit the road. You know, I overestimated this car. I figured uh, being a Volkswagen, we would be here for a lot longer trying to figure out what the problem was. But that was uh, that was one of those that I would uh, refer to as staring at you in the face. Many of you have heard me say that more than once. And you can't overlook things like that when you're trying to diagnose something. So we have got to pay attention to it. Backing out Dos Auto. Uh, I would honk the horn for safety, but it doesn't work. Vehicle's unsafe. That was nice, the throttle was responsive. Feels good. Well, I think we hit the nail on the head on this one. Uh, I, I'm gonna call this one luck and, uh, and not skill. It didn't take much skill to find hoses that were not connected, but it did take a bit of luck. Anyway, I am rambling with 53 seconds left of uh, memory on this SD card. So uh, having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign this one out and call this one good. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making this video for you. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to communicate that to me effectively by happy tapping that thumbs up button down below. If you didn't enjoy this video, I'm sorry, can't do anything about that down to 28 seconds so again and as always thank you for watching and most importantly do not forget to have yourselves a great day see you guys later 19 seconds end of transmission goodbye 17 seconds left i figured i'd do a full throttle pull while we're here 13 12 11 yep running good good shape see you guys later five seconds left three two, one, goodbye.